right guys, I've been waiting a long time to get back onto this project. Uh, it's just been sitting here taking space up in my garage. This is the 1985 Toyota Land Cruiser BJ60. Uh, if you've been following along, this is going to be part 10, I think, in the series of doing my first turbo build. Um, I've done a little bit since the last video. Made up this little uh, output pipe here for the uh, intercooler. And uh, all my clamps finally showed up from China. And all the little rubber boots I need to get everything plumbed in. So that's, uh, I'm going to be finishing that up here in this video. I'll probably just set up a time lapse here or something. And... Uh, yeah, maybe by the end of this video, we'll be able to actually take this thing for a rip. Um, I have a uh, EGT gauge here. Some uh, little Chinese thing. We're going to try it out. What does it say? Dino Racing. High quality, fast and furious, high performance. Uh, that's what we're going for, right? And then, uh, yeah, there's a boost gauge. Where's my boost gauge? Crap everywhere. There's my boost gauge. Yeah, turbo pack. Well, vacuum and boost. There we go. Hopefully, I'm making boost instead of vacuum with this thing. Um, yeah. So, yeah, sit back. Grab yourself a cold beverage, maybe a sandwich. And uh, we're going to make these happen. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that little time lapse of me tightening clamps. Anyways, we got our uh, charge pipe in here all plumbed in all the way to the intake. Now before I go ahead and fire this thing up and blow it up, I need to hook up the wastegate so I don't over boost the thing. And from what I can understand, this needs a boost source from the intercooler piping or elsewhere and I think I can just use this little port here which is uh, it's already tapped but it's not drilled all the way through so I'm just gonna take a small drill bit drill that out then I have this little guy um, which I found off uh, an old grease well new grease gun threads don't match exactly but they're good enough that I think I can get that in. And then I got this other guy that fits in there and I'll throw in a T and I'll run the other line to my boost gauge and we'll have that problem sorted. And we should be able to start testing this thing. Um, I did not install the blow off valve that I uh, sort of had previously from a previous build. I don't know that I really need it. We're gonna try it without it. Uh, hopefully the wastegate does uh, enough of a job that we don't blow things up. You know, with this little snail, I mean, we're probably only gonna run a few pounds of boost anyway, so I will drill that out, get this hooked up, and we'll see what happens. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, baby. It's gonna be good. Right there. guys can see that clearly but uh, just revving it up here in the garage she was bouncing all the way up to uh, well maxing out that gauge at 10 pounds so it looks like we're making boost which is exciting so I'm gonna go ahead and mount this gauge inside the truck and uh, maybe off camera here I'll hook up that EGT gauge too I'll have to drill and tap the manifold here somewhere else if I can get that done so we know where we're at that way play the next clip here guys we're gonna be rolling this down the road and we're gonna feel the raw power of the toyota 3b turbo diesel A success guys uh, if you've watched every one of these uh, episodes on this turbo build thank you very much please don't forget to subscribe to the channel we're gonna keep this kind of content coming as well as the you know the will it run videos rescue videos truck night in Canada videos all kinds of fun stuff you know our trips we film everything and uh, on the racetrack, we do uh, hit the pass at the Speedway. We just bought the Russ Brothers Hell Camino there. Uh, we're going to run that thing. We're going to have a good time. Um, Connor himself said he uh, he might come out and run it too with us, which would be awesome. And maybe some of the other guys. Maybe we'll get the Battle Act out on the track. That'd be cool. So, yeah. I think uh, I'm going to do one more thing to this rig before I call it done. 
and if it makes a big difference then uh, then I'll make it maybe make a part 11 but that's gonna be turning up the fuel it uh, it didn't seem to be smoking very much for me and uh, I think we need we need a little more black smoke uh, I can definitely feel the boost driving it around but I, I think she's got more in it for sure we're hitting close to 20 at least 20 pounds of boost um, you know at uh, 2500 rpm here so that's that's more than i was expecting for sure so i'm i'm, I'm she needs more fuel anyways guys until next time keep her uh shiny side up